the thing's ready to just sniff. Collect a car feed and seed. Nothing is formal <laughs> chucks. Well, I just want to pull up this picture real quick. It's, it's pretty cool. 88 S10 suicide doors. Sliding ragtop bodied V8. Will need windshield, fenders, motor wired up. It is a project. Clean title, 1500 firm, no trades. It's got the fucking mint shredder small block. It does, dude. The exhaust is just going straight out the front. The doors are backwards. It's bagged. It has a rag top. And there's almost nothing here for 1500 bucks. It's... Does it even have the bags? <laughs> like, where is I that? doubt it. Everything. How does the suspension work? There's no tower at all. How does this work? This is just like some random car parts on the ground <laughs> with a cab in the middle. How can this... Excuse your imagination. And I your don't wallet. know. I don't... I don't I don't get it either. Here's that 69 Camaro, 25,000 bucks rolling, 45,000 bucks turnkey, and he will trade up or down. It is so hard to read, boomer type. Lots of stuff done. It's a 69 Camaro, it's a drag car, it's tubed, and 25,000 as a roller, 45,000 with whatever leftover engine this guy has sitting around to throw in it. That's ridiculous. It's pretty cool. Face everything and rise, I think. I think it's what it says. Fire okay. everything. Fire uh, everything. Fire. <laughs> fire everything and ride. Fire everything and ride. <laughs> fire everything and ride. Okay. Well, there you go. Here's a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner in Grabber Green, I think. Um, yeah. I restore muscle cars daily, specializing in Mopars. My cars are in magazines, museums, commercials, etc. Look at my Facebook page if you wish to see a few of the cars I've restored. 502 542 8 Virgil G. I restore Ooh. cars, and I ain't gonna stop restoring them for nobody. And they <laughs> run like a scalded dog. Well, if he's on the interstate in a go-kart, we will pull him over. Good luck. He don't stop for no one, and his Honda run like a scalded dog. Yeah, he restored the f*** out of this thing, dude. This is nice. Yeah, he took, he even, they got that Pepsi can out of there, thank God. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was ballast. There he is. Too bad it's like, too bad it's the fucking cringe body roadrunner. What's the good one? 69? 70. Okay. Well, it's still badass. I'm sure the price is extreme. If you want a 71 Roadrunner, there it is. Here is a... Nah. I wouldn't... I, I, I'd never... Like, I, I would not pursue a 71 Roadrunner. Ever. Here comes something interesting, I'm sure. It's a 92 Corvette. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> All right. You see that kid like running away? Yeah. Like, I don't oh love anywhere near Do you love America? Do you love doing hood rat stuff with your friends? Do you want to go fast? Have you ever dreamed of building a track monster for as cheap as possible? Here's your chance to own the ultimate drift missile for cheap. This car has the LT1 V8 in it. No body panels. Took a lot of work to carefully remove things. Fully street legal and is an absolute riot to drive as it is insanely light and very powerful. The most fun you can have for this price range. He'll trade for a Grom, but cash is king. Okay, right, so that's that's Grom for that. legal. <laughs> he wants thirty two hundred bucks for this thing. Here's your drift missile, dude. Yeah, you're ready. This is like a real drift missile. Yeah, I mean, you hit. Yeah, this is a drift kamikaze, dude. If you hit something <laughs> with this, it's over. <laughs> It doesn't have a. Fr How is this street legal with no headlights? How is it looking? I mean, it's on the got road? The, It's got a light bar on it, but yeah, I'm gonna it can't guess be that that's. Legal. No, he did have a light bar. No on it, yeah, I mean, it's got a windshield. Oh, it there's has lights, lights right there. Go back, go back one picture, and you can see the lights. Oh yeah, right there. You see them? Uh, yeah, like fucking dune buggy lights. Yeah, it, I mean he's he's built a sand rail out of a C4 Corvette, basically. Yeah. The thing is, for like five grand, you could just have a whole Corvette. You know what I mean? Probably less. Yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, nobody nobody wants the C4. Yeah. Except for the what is it? The Z whatever. ZR1. Z71. ZR1. ZR1. Yeah, ZR1's you. the big one, but anything 92 to 96 with the LT1 or LT4 is a decent car. But Bronze J pops in and he says, "I bet you could get that half off." <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Got him. Oh. Bazinga. Zing. <laughs> what? What do you think it is? Oh, it says right it's there. It's a it's a Ninja it's a Turtle mouth kind. car. <laughs> it looks like a like a beer opener or a bottle opener. Can opener, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> no, I think that Netgear nailed it with the it's a Ninja Turtle car. This looks like how you would draw a Ninja Turtle in school. Uh, will not really respond. Does. Yeah, you're right. That stands. That look stands. Up, look, up, look up Ninja Turtle toy so that way, the, that way the kids can see. There he is. You get the idea. Raphael has seen better days. Yeah, he's looking rough. And so is whatever this is. Uh, we got a... <laughs> so true. Will not respond, <laughs> is it available? 1967 Ford Thunderbird Barn Find. Full custom built in early 1970s by Dave's whoever the f*** 
of Sacramento, California, been stored away for 40 years. Engine and transmission were built, were rebuilt in the late 90s, and wheels and tires were changed out. Other than that, it's all original. Clean title, car located in Central California, will only respond to serious questions. So, this predates the turtles. I, no, man, I'm not, it's too long. That car is too long. It's way too long. <laughs> Look how much nose Dude, he had to do awful. it. awful. Yeah, I don't. That thing's ready to just sniff. Top, top, too low, too long. <laughs> Staten's. It's a barn find that needs to go back into the barn. Yes. Yeah, put it back in the barn, dude. Yeah. It was like a Hot Wheels car that got stepped on. Looks like a Johnny Lightning. That, yeah. That got stepped on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it has no lights whatsoever, front or rear. It, it has to have lights. It's got to. No, there's nothing. It, it, it's, no, that thing's got to be translucent. Yeah, maybe. That's going to take a really specific buyer, and I don't think any of them are going to be watching this video. So here is an iMiv, heavily upgraded. I've never seen an upgraded Mitsubishi EV. What does that mean? Please note, this EV does qualify for a 30% tax credit on the purchase price. The net cost to you after the tax credit, if you are eligible, is $40. $4,900. Like any Tesla, Chevy Bolt, or Nissan Leaf, this EV qualifies for federal tax credit. Below is the IRS link for the credit. I have also provided those details at the end of this ad. This 2012 Mitsubishi, however the hell you say this, has been my wife's local commuter car for the past two years. It is absolutely great for that purpose, mainly because its original owner was an EV enthusiast who invested thousands of dollars in upgrades that made it worth keeping for those who drive locally. The upgrades include nickel metal high dried battery was replaced with a lithium ion battery in 2020 that offers better range and longevity. This vehicle is equipped with a level two charger on the left hand side, which can charge the vehicle from 20 to 80 percent in 45 minutes minutes, and so on and so forth. The factory radio was upgraded to a GPS unit, and this is what he is called heavily modified, heavily upgraded. Heavily upgraded golf cart. What's the range on one of these? Like 80 miles? Like a Leaf? Probably. I, mm, leaf, get, leaf gets more than that. I think Leaf is like 150 or something. The first gen Leaf was, the first gen, was yeah, like 90 like, max. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the new ones are. Well, do they even make the Leaf anymore? I think yeah. they still do. Yeah, the new yeah. one's actually not horrible. It's the, it's the cheapest EV, EV you can buy, I'm pretty sure. It always has yeah. been, I think. <laughs> Upgraded um, from poverty to commuter. Yeah. So this well, sucks, man. I, <laughs> yeah, so this, this is dumb but for seven grand i mean i guess it's a cool to to put around town you know if you don't have a long commute but you're gonna look like this yeah you know? i mean <laughs> coming from someone that drove a version for years I'm, this looks i'm awful. an electric car <laughs> i can't go very fast or very far <laughs> and if you drive me people will think you're gay <laughs> good simpsons reference but speaking of EV heavily upgraded, my neighbor gave my son a Traxxas Stampede RC car. You and I, Feed, we, we talk a lot about, about, hey, you know, don't fall into this pit of upgrading because if you save up your money, you can get a better deal, you know. Your dumb ass has sunk a whole Traxxas into this thing already, haven't you? Dude, I have spent <laughs> like over $300 on this fucking <laughs> Stampede. <laughs> We've gone to this hobby <laughs> shop five days in a row to get shit. <laughs> I got like, like he kept, he, the, the wheel broke off. So like we kept putting back together, but I was like, yeah, we can get these fucking cast, these, these caster plates, like where the fucking wheel turns on the hinge. Oh yeah. If we get that metal, we won't have that issue anymore. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get that. And then, oh, let's get tires and let's get wheels and tires for it. Let's, let's get two new batteries. Let's get a, let's get a better charger. It was like the steering knuckle and the caster plates. We got aluminum and then we got upgraded axles. And then when we got the grid axles, it was like, okay, it, let's just get metal and rear bearing carrier and then it was like we had it we had it all f good i was like yeah it's not gonna bust anymore dude you can run this thing and 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 smash everything and it'll be good like not two minutes later like when we first took he, he's first driving it out there neighbor kids out there he hands the controller off to neighbor kid and he's like i'm gonna get the ramps my, my kids are going to the back to get the ramps neighbor kid and full tilt takes this thing at an angle into the curb oh. and I was, like, I was like well it took it at first I was like oh wow yeah that's pretty good uh -huh. and nope he broke the f steering servo so we had to go again today <laughs> metal metal gear steering servo metal fucking servo saver so I think it's good now but yeah I've, I've spent probably over $300 you'll be back it's sick as f dude it is sick as f here's an 80 Corolla 
100,000 miles. It's an SR5 TE72 Corolla race car mod. Vehicle has full roll cage, five-point harness, and Kirky racing seat. Detachable steering wheel, full fire suppression system. Track safe battery quick disconnect, hearse shifter, and toggle switches for fuel pump and ignition. Vehicle has a fuel cell. Interior stripped. Window removed. Engine is a 3TC 1.8 liter. Block board out to 2 liters. Straight headers to downpipe exhaust, no muffler or resistor. Intake and carb needed. This was a car I bought for a project a while back, had to give up. And it comes with Mickey Thompson racing wheels. 1650. It's been listed for over four months. Yeah, I'd be a real specific control alt bingo to want this thing, dude. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, that's an interesting project. I, um, huh. This is, this yeah, is a like, thing. no, no. Here's a BMW wagon that looks pretty good. 318i Touring Wagon, 10.5 Daytona Beach, Florida. Rare 1990 E30 Touring 318i from Germany. 5-speed M40 1.8 liter. Runs on pump gas and LPG. It runs on liquid propane? Is that right? What? Is that what that means? Liquid propane yeah, gas? Yeah. Runs and drives perfect. Clean title in hand. Very fun car with rare OEM BMW tow hitch. Ooh. Needs a few cosmetic things. Roof racks not installed. Private sale located in Daytona Beach. Worldwide shipping available. 10.5 firm. It looks cool as hell. Cordy, right off the bat. Cordy on YouTube says, can we get Franz or Franz on as a guest one day? Yeah, Franz, can we get you on as a guest one day? I think that'd be cool. I don't even know if we could do matchmaking if you're silver. <laughs> Franz J has a KYS sticker on his E39 based. Oh, Good based. You. This is nice. This 318 is very, very cool. I don't see how it runs on liquid propane, but all right. Very cool. Not a project, though. No. Not a project. Just a running runs car. Runs perfect. Yeah, there's no project here. It's nice. It's very nice. We got anything else in um, Discord that we want to look at? <laughs> Texas Vexus says, Our name is Feed. We are many. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Live out the, uh, what is it, the Robert Evans, uh, the wish of starting up a cult and then in a shootout with the uh, FDA. The, the FDA? The ATF? Yeah, the, no, the FDA. That's, that's, his, <laughs> that's his dream. He wants to <laughs> shoot out with the Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> the Forest Service. Franz says this is his car, but he has a 540. 540 E39 would be a cool car. It's like the budget M5, basically. I mean, not an M5, but it's as close as you can get. My point is I'd like an E39 540i. Well, I just want to pull up this picture real quick. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Maybe put this on a shirt. Maybe that's our first shirt. Just neck your flex in those cheeks. I think on that note, I'm probably going to call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it? This is scaring you off. Bye, YouTube and Discord. Give them enough poochie on the way out. I'm trying to talk some shit. Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some sh**. All new sticker designs and our classics are available at collectorcarfeed.com slash store. Give me your money. Trash Boy Smithers says, Netgear and Feed, what are your dream cars? Just wondering. I mean, I've got a lot. I've got yeah, a whole it's... lot of, of, of cars that I, I'd like. It's hard to pin down. Yeah, I, I mean, an R34 or an R32 GTR. Yeah. Uh, easily. Um, but if I had stupid money, I'd buy a whole lot of cars, you know, I'd buy, I'd have, I'd have a, I'd have a Hemi Cuda, I'd have a, uh, Hemi Roadrunner or Super B, I'd have a, a ZR1, uh, C4. I'm basic as shit. 90s JDM Halo cars. Just give me a first gen Acura NSX, a Mark IV Supra, that kind of stuff. Attainable dream car, Z32 Twin Turbo, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hard to please. Yeah. Collect a car feed and seed. Nothing is formally chucks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta save that one. All right, so this 528, which we haven't talked about at all. Body is in good condition. Engine need, uh, engine need to finish up project. I think that means it needs an engine. Yeah, it does, that looks pretty empty right there. Well, no, there's, there's a reservoir. There's an engine in there. Yeah. Who knows what's going on with it? How, it's 1600 bucks. I feel like you could buy a running 528i with 140,000 miles for not yeah, like much e more. Even if you got it free, you, you'd still be in the hole, you know? Here's the ugliest Porsche ever made. and Well, the 914 is pretty bad, too. But here's an 80 928, $950, 9,900 miles, sure. Project Black 80 Porsche 928. That's the whole description. It has no windows, and it's been sitting in a field. This thing is done. Yeah, <laughs> this is just, worthless. It is done. Not even for 950 bucks, dude. Yeah, this needs just just sell it for scrap. You could put this at like uh, you could use it as a set piece for like a haunted house or something. Like put it out in a field, put a skeleton or, or like in it. A, a f an airsoft course, you know. Yeah, that'd be good. Or like 
out in front of a shop up on like one of those posts like up on a pole like he spray paint like the yeah, name of your shop yeah. on the side but that's all it's good for yeah. at this point one of those billboards where the car is like crashing through the billboard youtube chat's talking about cosmos and yeah cosmos are sick as fuck they are I cool. died by cosmo too if i i i want to collect cars so bad but uh, it's unreal unfortunately unfortunately i lack the i like the i like the means to do it properly as much as I want yeah, to. Uh, that is the problem. But yeah, g- you know, given stupid money, I- I'd have a Cosmo. That would be a really cool car to have. Did those come in stick ever or were they all automatic? They're all automatic. They're not that cool. I wouldn't want but a Cosmo. But they're goddamn, they're gorgeous. <laughs> they are really good looking. Oh, five Jeep Liberty with a f***ing Vortex swapped into it. <laughs> what the f***? What? Okay, this is worth eight grand off top, dude. Like, 05 Jeep Liberty Sport two-wheel drive with a 2000 Chevy LM7 motor. It's a 5.3. Oh, yeah, 5.3, yeah. Yep. All right, so we got a 5.3. It's got a bunch of stuff done to it. It's got a GT45 turbo on it, which you can see right there, taking up half the engine bay. 4L60E, so we're good for some speed here. Uh, That's the same, I believe that's the same transmission they used in the fourth gen Camaro, or just in all the fourth gen F bodies, Um, et cetera, et cetera, basically. Basically. It's got a safety hoop. Car was a daily driver for a few years. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is cool as f. Yeah, like imagine fing just laying waste to a fing to a scat pack challenger. Yeah. <laughs> at the stoplight and his girlfriend like being all pissed at him. And saying, f you neck gear, you didn't win. <laughs> no, this is sick, dude. For eight thousand bucks, too. AC needs to be charged. Ah, never mind. And the AC works. I guess it's not a real project car because it has AC. Yeah, it needs to be charged though. He's got a leak in there. He's not telling you about it. You get a couple hundred bucks off the price. That seems really reasonable <laughs> for what you've got going on here. This is this is sick as f- it is. Like legit sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what's on the phone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 